Hi guys, what's up? I am here at Vulture City. It's a Paracon. It's a, it's a paranormal uh, convention. So I'm here doing, doing this stuff. I got to, you know, see uh, Colin from Paranormal Files and stuff. But uh, anyway, so we're inside the brothel area. Right here is the the doctor's office. It's getting dark, so that when more of the activity happens, which I think that's when it happens anyways, because it's a brothel, so a lot of activity there would be at night when all the miners got off work or whenever the, the men came in. They would go at night so they wouldn't be seen by their wives or anyone else in town. But there's no electricity here, no power here. The only power here is those cameras on top in the corner. There's no other power here. I got a couple of EMF spikes. So we'll see. We're going to keep walking around, try to film some more stuff here, but we'll be back here to the brothel. And I heard there's another place that's really haunted around here. But we're in Vulture City, Arizona, so we'll see what's what's around here. We'll keep walking around, film some more stuff. Hopefully you catch anything. If you guys see anything, hear anything, please let me know in the comments below. It's crazy. Probably mad they found all these paranormal groups in here. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. You there? And they have not met me. They didn't know who, what my name was. And they asked in this room, they said, Do you know her name? And a man goes, Laura. And a woman goes, Laura. And my name is Lori. That's pretty darn close, that is considering close. those people did not know who I was whatsoever. So I'm like, okay. All right, let's try this one and see if it picks anything up. Okay, I'm going to shut my Okay. So we're going to call it to any spirits here in this, this building. Uh, you can use this device to speak through it and talk to us. We can hear you real time as we're not here to hurt you or disrespect you in any way. We just want to communicate with you. So turn this on. That's nice to hear because, you know, I, I watch some of these paranormal people come here. Like, they don't say anything. Like, talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, I try to make it as... Maybe if I talk to you, Hey, are you there? I was just asking you about the music box. Is there a is there a man here that actually growl at people? Does it consistently make that noise all the time? Yeah. It's like it's a white noise and then... What, oh, that's what it is. So it's just, it's a constant white noise. Pretty much, it's white noise. It skips through all the radio channels. So skipping through every single radio channel right now. And then, you know, it picks up the voices. Oh. Supposedly they're able to use the, the frequencies to, to make words. Hey, it's Lori. I mean, you want to say hello? We're not here to hurt you. Can you touch this light right here? Light up. This is like shooting fish in a barrel at night. If you, if you were here at 10 o'clock at night, you, you honestly would be like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's just constant activity in here at night. Yeah. It's really special. I'm here to, uh, to pay for a prostitution. I want, I want to buy a prostitute. Is there any uh, prostitutes here that would uh, serve me? <laughs> I'm a miner. I'm a miner. I come over here to mine. Hey, it's Lori. You know I work here. I'm just trying to figure out this music box that you've been playing. Because you played it yesterday. Can you play the music box? Are you there? They usually respond to me. I'm not sure what said something. I didn't tell what that said. But... It's Lori. Can you... Do you see me? Are you there? Are we here too early? Do you guys know me? Do you want to say hello to me? Say hi to Lori? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's just really interesting. Because like I said, I'm here in the morning and they're being bonds on me and there could be spirits in here. Yeah. And you walk in here at night, it's like a whole different city. I went to uh, Superstition Mountains so like a week ago. Have you been there? Yeah. Oh, well, it said something right there. It did. No. <laughs> that was... It was pretty clear. It's a man. It's a man or a woman. Oh, um, that was weird. It was a guy's voice. Hey, it's Lori. Can you say hello to me? You want to talk to me? It's Lori. Like it doesn't want to talk to us, it just wants to like listen to us, I feel like. I know, there's the same good stuff. <laughs> do you guys think I do a good job cleaning your building? They probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys like that I come in here and want... It said something. Do you like that I come here in the morning? Whose music box is that that's all, that she's always hearing? Can you just play a little bit of it? Yeah, I did it twice yesterday. Yep. Um, because in here they usually talk quite a bit. That was something in there too, I couldn't make it out. Two voices. Yesterday was definitely two voices. Hello? Can you tell them that you know my name? Because you know my name. What's my name? It's quiet. <laughs> it's crazy. What time is it now? 1.30? Yeah. If you're, you're going to be here all day. If you come back, like around 4 o'clock, when it starts to get a little darker, because this building gets dark real fast. Okay, we're going to yeah. turn this off now. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else to say before we turn it off? to it is not real right i, I don't know that's the oh that's the thing i, I i'm not i'm not too like um I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it does not real but i'm not saying it is real i, I just, think it's randomly synthesized yeah i'm to not just kind of mess with you but i'm just trying to figure out you know because one of the folks last night was saying well you know they probably programmed a music box sound into it because that is a spooky sound that we normally people hear but it only worked in, it only did it in the storeroom. And I tried all these other buildings and I even took it home and did it at home last night to see if that random music box sound would come back up. Oh look, it's and biking it up right here. happened in here and it was twice. You must speak biking. So that might be legit. Are you there? Hey, it's Lori, are you there? When you guys check for the music box, you guys check in the closet too? Yeah. This they said they emptied out this whole room, took out all the, you know, we, we looked everywhere. And I was here when we took out the floorboards because I have a metal detector. We were looking for whatever we could find. We found some mining tags and things. Oh, that's cool. Floor. But we didn't really explore it because we didn't have time. And I mean, there's probably a gold bar or two underneath this building. I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure prostitutes had a lot of money, a lot of oh, jewelry, yeah. and this building has never moved from its spot. It's all the original floor you walk into. Something probably so, hidden. Something probably hidden too is possibly a body or something too. I oh mean, yeah! Oh, for it's sure. It's a it's a prostitution house. I'm pretty sure there's at yeah. least a body or two somewhere around and here. Where, where, when there's hookers, there's crime. Yeah. Right? Yep. Uh, you there? Can you play the music box for me? I know you won't do it without. It starts backing up a little bit right here. What? Hmm. Wow, you're really quiet. You're nervous. We're going to have to come back at 4. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah. I'm down. Or just like as it starts getting a little bit darker. Because right now you're getting a lot. This is probably the most sun you get in this building naturally during <laughs> the day. But this is probably high light in here. Are you there? Are you there? Can you play the music box that you played for me yesterday? Yeah, you never know what attracts 
people to other people either. Like there could be something about any one of us that goes, oh, you remind me of somebody I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to Shouldn't be sad, but I mean, so this is the hanging tree. Eighteen men were hung here for high grading or stealing gold ores. Please watch your step. So I wonder if they stood on these stumps like this. Oh, there's a rope right there. I wonder if they like hit them on a stump like that, and then they hang them up, put the noose around their neck, and then they kick the stump out from under them. Let's go inside this house, I guess. The Henry Wickenburg House. Watch out for that. I get in the stomach with it. Oh shit! I <laughs> the the, almost hit the ceiling fan, like, <laughs> there's no ceiling fan. Man, this is crazy. It's definitely like a look in the past. Let's see if we get any K2 spikes in here. So this shouldn't go off in here at all because there's no electrical. You can feel the cool air from right here, look, from outside. This is like, they're the natural fans. Is Henry Wickenberg here? Probably his kitchen area. His pantry, probably. So close to the hanging tree, too. If Henry's here, you come follow me around. We're walking around the, your town for a little bit. You talk to me whenever you want. Keep walking around. Oh, there he is. Is that him, probably? Oh, if it is or not. We're gonna keep walking around a little bit longer and checking this place out a little more. Is that the people mm -hmm. <laughs> back in the day? Yeah, I missed it on your. the Asai Lab. This is the Asai Lab, apparently one of the most haunted areas or buildings in this town. The Asai Lab, uh, I think the second, I, someone said the second floor, right? Something like that? Second floor is like really haunted. I don't think we could go up there unless you do like a specific tour of some kind. 
Alright, I'm just gonna show you guys around. Maybe do a ghost spot or something in here, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, that's creepy. Ooh. The bullion storage unit. You know, storage room vault underground. Gold and silver bar stored here before it being shipped out. Look at this guy. I remember my flashlights, I think I left it in the car. Okay. This hole. It's a storage unit where they used to hold the, the gold bars at before I got shipped out. Is there anybody here in this building with us? In the side lab? Conversation. It could be like an echo because I do have a. There's that side office. Ooh, this is your step. Oh, uh, yeah, there's second floor upstairs right there. You can't go that way though. Be someone else right It's a blacksmith shop. Well, we're leaving soon. If there's anything that it, it follows around. Sorry, I didn't communicate more. So, we'll be leaving soon. When we do leave from this parking lot, you will not be able to follow us. Chess off to any of us or any of our things. Stay where you are. Find your paradise.
Yeah, it's school. Mm -hmm. Is this paranormal corner? Oh, look at this! Look, it's all the paranormal stuff. You see, we came here earlier. Yeah, that clown. any of these dolls or toys you say something to my camera light this up it's key two meter up Signal thing, thank you. Ultra gold mine. Tours. Hold the four numbers. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Oh, the guide to Alaska. On a toilet. And giving this just a shower. Uh, I got a web on me, I think. You good? I feel like there's a web on my ear. We go closet though at least.
That's the end.